Good day everyone. So we are now here in our practical research one and our topic for today is the formulating research questions. So after having an approved title, we will now go forward or move forward to formulating our research questions. So these are the objectives of this lesson. So let's review first and let's do that in your class, okay? All right, so in writing a research question, it says here that you have to be specific, okay? You have to specify your specific concern or issue. Decide what you want to know about the specific concern or issue and turn what you want to know and the specific concern into a question. So all in all, just simply saying here that we have to be specific and formulating our research question. Also, ensure that the question is answerable. And of course, check to make sure the question is not too broad or too narrow. This is the basic process in writing a research question. Writing a good question will result in a better research project. So these are the things that we need to consider in formulating a research question. A research question should be, this is from Center of George Mason University. It should be clear because it provides enough specific that one's audience can easily understand its purpose without needing additional explanation. It's, it should be also focused. It has a narrow or enough that it can be answered thoroughly in a space the writing task allows. It should be also concise. It should express in the fewest possible words. It should be complex. It is not answerable by simply just saying yes or no, but rather requires synthesis and analysis of ideas and sources prior to composition of an answer. And last one, arguable. Its potential answer are open to debate rather than accepted facts. So what is a research question again? So a research question, of course, if you start formulating it, it should only depend on the type of your research. So what type of research are you doing right now? So most of you are really doing the qualitative research, the observable and based on um, your experiences and of course, according to focuses only on your strengths so uh, you will focus your research question on your research title okay and of course it should state what you want to accomplish or achieve in your study so focus on that what you want to accomplish at the end of your research what would be your output and it sets the direction as they where your study will go. So what will be your recommendations? What would be your output? And what would be um, the final um, output of this study, of your study? So let's discuss the two parts of the SOP or statement of the problem. So we have the general problem, which is refers to the broad categories or group of people or things. And these are this is the example of a title. Okay, for example, this is my title, Effectiveness of Video Materials as Supplementary Learning Resources, a Comparative Study. Okay, let's take a look this title and formulate a general question. So I have here the general question for the title Effectiveness of Video Materials as Supplementary Learning Resources, a Comparative Study. My general question would be this study aims to determine the effectiveness of video materials as supplementary learning resources to the senior high school TVL learners of Signal Village National High School. Second type of um, problem is the specific problem. A research problem statement is clear, 
concise and specific statement that describes the issue or problem that the researcher research project addresses. It is in a question form. So before we I give you I mean the example of this, let's take a look at the types of research questions okay the general types we have the non-researchable questions and the researchable questions okay non-researchable questions are the questions of value answerable by yes or no okay let's say for instance the following based again on on the title a while ago okay so number one of this non-researchable is is video or learning materials it can be answerable by yes or no. Number two, are students interested to watch videos? Okay, answerable by yes or no. Do you like to have additional learning resources? Answerable by yes or no. And many more. While researchable questions are questions of value, opinions, or policies raised to gather data. Okay, here it's not answerable, but yes or no, because it has opinions, it has value, and it should raise to gather data. You will conduct data gathering here. Okay, so typically the use is who, what, when, where, how, and why. Okay, let's use again the topic that I have a while ago, the effectiveness of video materials. A supplementary learning resources comparative study so number one of this specific question or researchable question number one what are the common learning resources utilized by SHS TVL students in SBNHS so I use this abbreviation here no okay no I'm, I'm using SHS a senior high school TVL, Technological, Vocational, and Livelihood. And then the SVNHS is the school name. Number two, how are video lessons different from the other learning resources utilized by SHS TVL learners and SVNHS? Number three, based on the results gathered, what are the effects of video lessons as supplementary materials to the SHS TVL learners of SBNHS? So here, uh, the examples, these three examples will um, be the direction of your study. This will lead you to what do you need to accomplish in your study. It will give direction to your study. So here in my research, what what do I need to accomplish? I, what do I need to know? I want to know what are the um, learning resources utilized by SHS learners. Also, I want to know what are the differences between these other resources, learning resources, additional resources to video lesson. Okay, video lessons. And I want to know also what would be the result after after um, giving an example of video lessons to the students, if this will be effective or not, by knowing what are the effects of video lessons as supplementary um, learning resources materials to them. Alright, so for your assignment, I want you to create your own general question with three specific questions using your approved title. You will write it in your notebook. All right. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.